Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, full disclosure, I'm an atheist. And usually when I make a video about the subject of religion, or it's uh, in response to something ignorant that's been put out by one of those right-wing religious fanatics. But this video is going to be a bit different. This is a video that comes from thoughts that have been spinning around in my own head. I grew up a Catholic. And uh, in grammar school, I was given a Baltimore Catechism. It's a book that, in question and answer form, gives you the ABCs of the Catholic religion. Who made me? God made me. It goes like that. And what we learn in that catechism is that God is perfect, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, and all good. So, in the beginning, there was nothing but God. God created everything. So, how did evil get into the world? Now, the theologians and the priests and the ministers and the nuns will tell you that it all comes from free will. But that explanation does, doesn't cut it. Free will alone doesn't necessarily explain evil. The mythology of the Garden of Eden posits that human beings were created good and innocent. And then they did one thing, an act of disobedience. And evil was unleashed into the world. That just doesn't quite hold up, does it? That potential had to be there from the moment people were created. But let's go back even further. Because Eve was tempted by a fallen angel, Lucifer, Satan. So let's look at that myth. God created the angels. A higher form of human being, a higher form of creature, not human being, but a higher creature than humans. They were spirits. And because they were spirits, they were actually in the presence of God. Yeah, they were hanging out with this perfect being, this all-loving being. They had absolutely nothing to be dissatisfied about. All their needs were met. And you know, heaven is defined as the presence of God, and they were in the presence of God. They were in heaven. They were in the perfect place with a creature that loved them perfectly. And yet, they rebelled even though they had nothing to be dissatisfied about, they rebelled. They lost the battle, they were cast out, and became evil. So both humans and angels, God's ultimate creations, rebelled against him. But since God knows everything, he had to know it was coming. See, these myths, you can tell that they were created by imperfect humans because they're pretty imperfect. They were created to explain the presence of evil in the world while at the same time absolving God to say that God had nothing to do with it. But the flaw in the angels and the flaw in the humans 
was there to begin with. It was put there by God. It was part of their creation. So you can't claim that God has nothing to do with it. It's like Harry Truman said, the buck stops here. If there is evil in the world, which there is, then it had to be put there by its creator. In short, God created evil. And if God created evil, then he's not perfect. He is not all good. So either there is no God, or if there is one, he is both good and evil. And that's a pretty scary thought right there. And maybe that explains why the God that exists in Scripture is such a complete asshole. Thanks for listening.